sponsor JG's Fight Talk, sponsored by Riches Boxing and Limitless Creations. And with me now, I'm chuffed to have on Bradley Ski. How are you doing, Brad? All good, mate. I'm all good. Thanks for having me on. Oh, no problem at all. And even better timing, you're fighting next weekend. Next week, mate. Next week, nearly there. It's been a long time coming, two and a half years out of the ring. And uh, yeah, can finally say I'm back next week. Yeah, yeah. Before we get before we get into that, mate, let's let's have a look at the career. As you know, I was writing down all your <laughs> all your all your belts. We can go right from Southern area, English, WBA Intercontinental, uh, WBA European, British Commonwealth, EBU European. Mate, it doesn't stop, does it? Mate, I've uh, I've had a good good run. Do you know what I mean? But. Uh... I'm I'm back and I'm I'm I want the big one. Do you know what I mean? I'm back to 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 get that world title. That's that's my dream. That's my dream to to become a world champion. Um. So yeah, listen, it's it's gonna it's gonna be a long road and and it all starts next week. Yeah, yeah, and um, what a cracker as well. Um, fight zone. You know, for yeah. people that haven't subscribed yet, I've I I subscribed this past week. I know you have as well. Four ninety nine a month, and you've got literally every weekend of boxing. You know, it's a dream for yeah. us. Isn't it? <laughs> it's great. Like I say, like I've subscribed and and been watched the show last week, and then and they've got a show tonight. Been watching the show tonight, and the whole setup, the whole production, everything is is wicked. Do you know what I mean? I'm buzzing to be a part of it, and. Uh, yeah, fight myself on next week's show. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it, and uh, I'm sure they they'll be getting a few subscribers when I'm when I'm on. And yeah, it'd be good. It's and it's not just not just Friday nights. It's sat some Saturdays too. So four ninety nine a month, you're getting like boxing Friday and Saturday, yeah. like most. And it's yes, it's it's, it's it's a good quality um, boxing. Do you know what I mean? It's it's no Mickey Mouse stuff. Yeah, it's um, as you say, you know. You look at some of the fights on those cards, they're 50 50 fights. There's some really just just good cards from top to bottom, aren't they? And um, it's just good to have boxing back on a Friday, mate, to be honest, isn't it? it and with crowd back as well, do you know what I mean? The atmosphere in that, because I've seen a few shows boxing's been on, but there's no atmosphere, no crowd. And yeah, it's been a bit, it's been a bit weird watching, to be honest. But to, to, to hear the crowd and to, to hear the atmosphere is it just that's what boxing is all about. Did, did you, you say you've been watching it, like, well, you know, two years out, you've probably been, you've probably still been watching it as a fan. Uh, yeah. Have you found it odd not having fans there or? Yeah, and I've spoke to a few of the boys in the gym who's actually boxed and no no crowd and, yeah, it's, it's uh, loads, like, a few of them just said it's like, it's weird, it's like, it's no, no atmosphere, like. Even when like the MC says your name, like there was like yeah, but no one's there to cheer. <laughs> <laughs> you hear your trainer, yeah. <laughs> Raising my hand too, do you know what I mean? But it's uh, yeah, it's just weird. But at the end of the days, you're in there. It's just you, you and the other fighter. But it's 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 at, the atmosphere is what you thrive on. Do you know what I mean? The ring walks and and when you land a good shot, like the, the crowd, the crowd, and it, it definitely is needed. So why why the and uh, you know if it's a personal question why the two years out? To be honest, um, I just my well, my COVID, last COVID obviously has helped. I know. Yeah, yeah. My last few performances just it just wasn't myself. I just fell out of love with boxing and uh, like a few like a few personal reasons and just a few things behind the scenes and that was going on. And I just weren't happy. I just weren't happy with the, with the whole thing. And especially in my last fight, it just, it was like a shambles, to be honest. And I just, I just, just fell out of love with the boxing and it just wasn't me. And I knew, I knew I needed a break. And but like, do you know what I mean? I got beat, I got beat bad. Like, and that was it when I knew, I, I was never going to retire. Like, I got told to retire and, and, and people, Close to me was like, yeah, that's it. That's like you've had a good run, but I always knew deep down. I always knew I wasn't finished. I was far from it. I was, I wasn't, like, I wasn't, I wasn't ready to give up. Do you know what I mean? And I just needed a break. I didn't expect to be out as long as I, as I was, but 
I always believe things happen for a reason. Like, say, COVID hit, so that was just a year wiped out anyway. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, just looking back now, I, I feel the breaks done me, done me good. I'm buzzing. I mean, I'm in better shape than what I've ever been in. I'm, I feel good. I've moved up weight and I'm with a world-class trainer. And, uh, yeah, I'm buzzing. I love boxing again. And next week, it actually feels like it's my debut. It feels like I've actually started again. And I, it's, I, I just, I like, like, I didn't have that buzz before and I love boxing again. That's all I know. That's all I've done since seven years old. So, like, I'm, I'm, I'm actually buzzing to that. go, go, go and start again and, and get my career back on track. Yeah, yeah. So next next weekend, uh, next Friday, it's is it a four or four or six rounder? Six. It's a six rounder. Okay. Yeah. I, to be honest, I would have liked to come back to an eight rounder, but that is what it is. A, a yeah. six rounder. You know what I mean? It's it is what it is. It's it's a it's a fight just to, to to get me back in there and like two and a half years out of the ring is a long time. And yeah, I'll put the work in the gym and sparring and everything, but. Actually, on fight night is a whole different ball game. Just so this one is literally just to get me out and uh, get a few rounds in and and just enjoy enjoy myself. And listen, a fight's a fight. Anything can happen, and I, I won't be overlooking anyone. Anyone. So um, yeah, I, I expect a good win, and I'd like to like to be out again in an eight round out with with a with a decent step up. And then after that, I'll be looking for a, for a big fight. I'll box at title level. And, at 147 I'll mix at, at the top do you know what I mean and, and that's what I'm going to do that 154 but all saying that I've got to get next week out of the way and, and have a good performance and uh, that's all I'm concentrating on at the minute yeah yeah I, I you know I, we were talking about it before we came on I, lo- I love the fact you never overlook anyone at any mm-hmm. level um, you know like you say it's you and the guy across the ring they've got the same yeah. intention as you have um, so you, you know you've got a You've got to be at your best in every fight, haven't you? And and you know that based on your record, you know. One boxing, one punch can can change the whole fight. Do you know what I mean? And uh, I've I've been there and done it myself. Do you know, like when I look at my last fight. Like, listen, no disrespect, the guy shouldn't have been lacing up my boots, let alone dropping me and and beating me the way he done. But it's boxing, and 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 this it happens. So I I, I never I never. Will never and never overlook no opponent on my yeah so as I say what can we expect from Bradley Ski next Friday I just I'm a, I'm a happy fighter now I'm happy I'm, I'm buzzing and and that's when I'm at my best you know what I mean I, I'm enjoying what I do I've, I've gone up to the Ingle gym now I'm with Dominic Ingle and and I'm, I'm I'm buzzing I've been learning new things and I just I just want to enjoy my boxing and I just and that's that's when you'll see me at my best. You know what I mean? And if I if I if I can do what I've been doing in the gym, then expect to expect a good night. Yeah, yeah. A happy fighter is a dangerous one, isn't it? And um, yeah, and mate, you're certainly happy. You're absolutely beaming. So um, <laughs> I, honestly, I I'm looking I'm looking forward to seeing you back in the ring on Friday. Um, I think I think you're a real class act, Bradley. And um, as I say, your record speaks for itself. Thirty-one fights, twenty-eight wins, thirteen knockouts. You're, and and it's going to be a case of just step back in where you left off, you know. But with that more passion, more fire, more flair, and uh, in the Ingle Gym as well, quality. So, yeah. well, I didn't know. <laughs> the famous Ingle <laughs> Ingle footwork. <laughs> exactly, exactly. We want to see some shuffles. We want to see all sorts, mate. <laughs> I'll give it a go. <laughs> Maybe not on the first one. Like <laughs> <laughs> just literally there to to enjoy myself and 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 li- like we say, pick up where I left off and get back to the top. Do you know what I mean? I I was a championship fight at one four seven. I I, I want to be a championship fight at one fifty four. Do you know what I mean? Mixing with the, with the big boys. And you're a thirty three year old that feels thirty one. So, yeah. <laughs> oh. that's what it's all about, mate. That's what it's all about. If you can turn back the clock, mate, that's that's even better. And you, you know, you look younger than me, so <laughs> top man. <laughs> but no, honestly, I wish you all the best, mate. And um, as I say, people tune in to um, Fight Zone. 
uh, download the app. I know you can go on the website as well, four ninety nine a month, and uh, it's literally boxing every weekend. As we say, next weekend there's two shows, Friday and the Saturday. Um, just great, great to have boxing back in full flow. Have the crowds back as well, and good to have you back, Brad. Honestly, can't wait, mate. I can't wait, and uh, I'm sure we'll catch up after the fight next week. Yeah, no, it'd be great to get you back on and uh, you can have a chat about how, how it all felt after all that time off. And uh, back in there, mate, back in there. Um, thank you, mate. Uh, no problem. As I say, you take care of yourself and um, love to the family and everyone. Thank you and you, mate. Have a good weekend, yeah? Yeah, and I'll speak to you soon. Enjoy the fights tonight. I will do, I will do. Top man. Take care, mate. Speak soon. Hey, Thanks, bye-bye. Brad. Bye. Bradley Ski, what a record, 31 fights, 28 wins, 13 knockouts, and it just goes on, Southern Area, English, WBA Intercontinental, WBA European, British, Commonwealth, EBU European, he's done a lot, he's coming back to get the world title, and what an attitude he's got, a new flair, a new new bounce in his step, he's ready to go, and um, really looking forward to his fight, so he'll be fighting, as I say, next Friday, um, yeah, really buzzing for it. So that was Bradley Ski. If you've enjoyed the interview, head over to YouTube, uh, JG's Fight Talk, hit the subscribe button, check out the rest of the content, and thank you very much. Take care. Oh, you